Tonight, a community is mourning the death of a 27-year-old mother and her 7-year-old daughter. Police say they believe two bodies found near an embankment in Washougal yesterday are the missing pair. And tonight, we're hearing from those who knew them. Fox 12 So Young Kim joins us live now from Vancouver with the details. So Young. Nora. Pete, we've learned the seven-year-old girl was a student here at this elementary school. Community members who live nearby say it's devastating. Both lives were taken too soon. People say they're still trying to process the tragic news of the sudden deaths of a mom and daughter in their very own community. Just to know that something like that could happen so close to home also is, yeah, there's no words. Vancouver, you don't hear about these type of things happening. Clark County sheriffs say two bodies were discovered in a rural area in Washougal Wednesday morning just before 10 o'clock. Vancouver police detectives say they do believe it's missing mom and daughter, 27-year-old Michelle Melendez and 7-year-old Layla Stewart. It is really sad. Just to have that all taken away is, yeah, and at a young age and the mom, super young, just, yeah, I... I just couldn't believe it. Investigators say Miche and Layla were last seen on March 12th with person of interest, 28-year-old Kirkland Warren. Officials say Warren was arrested on Sunday for charges he was facing before their disappearance. It, it's a heartbreaking that it happened. I'm sorry that they lost their lives. Evergreen Public Schools says Layla was a first grade student in their district. The district says they've sent out a letter of support to families and are providing counseling to those who need it. Parents with children at that school say they've been hugging their little ones a little tighter. My husband's out of town right now, so my kids have been sleeping in bed with me. So it's it's almost like a little bit more comforting, you know, having them right there. Heart goes out to the family. CCSO says confirmation of the identities and cause of death will be released by the Clark County Medical Examiner's Office next week. Live in Vancouver, So Young Kim, Fox 12 Oregon.